Yeah, awesome set. Um, Thanks. Yeah, I, I'm just curious kind of how you got into music, particularly your, your voice has such a, an amazing vocal range. Maybe you could talk a little bit about kind of how you developed that too. Well, um, basically I started playing when I was 17 years old. Um, a friend of the family handed me a guitar and he's like, mm, you want to play guitar? I'm like, no, not really. So I was, tried again, you want to play guitar? Eh, I guess so. So it took a little while till I, I sort of caught on and when I did catch on, I, I was every day, uh, because he lived with us, I'd go back and forth like, oh, teach me a new chord, teach me a new chord. So um, I, I wasn't like that great of a singer to start with. Uh, I've never had lessons, so it's just like sort of figuring out what my voice is capable, capable of. Um, so if, if that meant like, like learning like Neil Young covers and trying to hit falsetto notes or um, just like do, trying to do powerhouse things, uh, that, that's what I did, just learned the covers and then the original stuff came. Um, and it's, so if you started at 17 and you were writing your first song at 18, that came pretty early. Like what, it, what yeah. inspires you as a, as a writer and as a songwriter? Um, death inspires me a lot. Yeah, I uh, noticed that. that that's, a, that's a big one. Um, just the, the, the sheer absurdity of like being dropped on, on this planet and then just like, oh, I don't know when I'm going to go. Um, so that's a big inspiration. Um, I, I really love um, British folk musicians like Nick Gra uh, Drake and Richard Thompson, um, and then like classic rock Led Zeppelin. Uh, recently, I, I've been a huge fan of uh, there's a there's 50s uh, doo-wop group called the Platters. I really so I'm getting more into doo-wop, and I love like 20s jazz singers, uh, specifically the old crooners. Uh, like Al Boley, um, well technically he's not, uh, yeah, Al Boley's a crooner, I was thinking of someone else, but yeah, anyway, long story short. Um, you play a few things, right? You, so you play the 12-string, what else do you play? Um, I dabble in piano, though I don't claim to actually know piano. Uh, Charango, I picked that up uh, probably like four months ago, and... And maybe you could I, describe what that looks like, Charango. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a... Uh, uh, be, uh, like a mandolin and a ukulele had a baby. And uh, it's an Andean folk instrument. Um, see, I don't even know, know what it's tuned to because I just figure out whatever works for me on the instrument. I should actually probably learn it. But um, it's, it's a really cool instrument. It has uh, uh, kind of this nice timbre uh, uh, from the nylon strings that, and very bright sounding. So I, I play that too in harmonica and pretty much whatever interest me at the moment. Um, uh, you, you've been doing some recording, I understand. Like what, like what, what are your... Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe you talk about well, that a little I bit. Well, uh, I did a single of a song I wrote called Kaczynski 317. It's all a cappella. I recorded that at Rotary Records in West Springfield. Um, years ago I had interviewed the owner and uh, I, I figured it would be a nice homecoming because I'm from West Springfield and uh, that was really neat. So I, I basically went in the studio, recorded uh, just the acapella lead track, and then I improvised a bunch of backing tracks. That kind of sounds like a spooky version of the Beach Boys. Um, so besides that, we're, I'm also we're working on the Leafies You Gave Me record. Um, don't know when that's going to come out, but probably early 2018. Um, and could you talk about your, you know, your, your band, the Leafies, kind of uh, how you yeah, hooked up yeah. with them and, and kind of what um, they're all about? Basically, uh, how I got involved with Leafies, uh, I was in another band called Japanese Children's Choir that was kind of like, yes, progressive rock meets like completely nuts, free improv. And that, that broke up really quickly. And uh, one of my bandmates, Jared, had, had asked me, oh, do you want to become a part of Leafies? We're doing like stage theatrics. I'm just like, okay, I'm not in a band. I might as well try it out. And it just evolved from like, I think a four or five piece to a ten piece now, and there's stage theatrics. Uh, uh, we cover pretty much most genres you can think of, um, and it's just been an absolute delight and, and pretty much transformed my songwriting personally. Like I've, I've written bossa nova, I've written like 20s jazz pieces, doo wop, because that that group inspired me to write in those styles, and I wasn't comfortable writing those styles. Mostly like folky, folk rock, classic rock kind of inspired stuff beforehand. Well, it was such a pleasure to, to hear you on sessions. Maybe just for one 
last question. Uh, you know, kind of what's it been like for you as a musician getting to be involved in, in sessions and kind of getting to like, uh, you know, work with these, these oh, other musicians as well as... Uh, th that's an absolute dream. I mean, like being able to, to mix my two passions in life, which are writing and music. I mean, I, I, I couldn't think of anything better to do. So, yeah. Great, thanks. Thank you.